Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Max Got the Tracks, and today I bring you a perfect game using the deck Zombie Fish. So here you can see I'm playing against uh, Trundle Timelines. Um, this deck has a Victor, so you know I was just thinking, uh, what do I want a Mulligan? And I figured, you know, Riptide Sermon would be pretty good on, on like uh, turn four to try and snipe Victor. So I kept that as well. Um, here they just slap timelines on one, which is pretty expected. Um, we've got Nami ready for turn five, right? So yeah, we're just chilling right now. I'm planning to use the Gohard and the Vile Feast to help me bank the rest of that mana. I see they get one of these, uh, little silly cards. I don't remember the name of it right now, but I just let it hit me, obviously. Turn three comes around. I'm going to swing with the Vile Feast and the Gohard because I'm like, cool, that looks good. There's an option to use the other Gohar, but I'm like, ah, eh, doesn't really make sense. I'll just use it with Nami to power up the Spiderling or something later. I didn't really need to do that. I just get the one point of damage of my Spiderling. They don't drop anything on three, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, here, I expected Victor. You could see I was hovering the Riptide Sermon, but they go down with a second one of those, and they get a 3-2 Tusk Speaker, so I'm like, cool. That's a fair Sermon target, I guess, because that'll level Nami if I use the three spell mana there, and I'm pretty sure it's my best option. So I signed the Riptide Sermon next turn. They just do nothing there, so I'm really happy. Get to slam my Nami. She levels. Cool, beautiful Nami level. Alt tab, because I know what that looks like for the millionth time. Um, got the double trouble in the hand. I'm thinking I might just try to go wide here. They slam a trundle. I'm like, sure, might as well go wide. Try to push a lot more damage. I don't really need to deal with the trundle yet, so I'm chilling. I got super lucky and get a uh, little cannon turtle dude that gives me an extra mana, so I'm like, sick. That's really good. I think they're a little uh, tilted at this point that I got the little turtle homies, so I'm like sick. We're probably going to swing with everything here other than Nami, obviously. They do a ramp stance, I'm like, that is really good for me. I decided I could try to push more mana with the uh, Telstone, but I'm like chilling. I'll just glimpse beyond the turtle and then swing with 3 3 threes, put them down to 10, and that seems pretty solid. I don't really need to get too greedy with the tough stones now and I could use them with something like that burble fish that I just drew for example so I was thinking that's why I should just set up for my next turns try to dig for something to do with the trundle if, it, if I need to so next turn I'm just chilling I thought like a vengeance I'm like cool that might be an option I could vengeance and drop the burble fish but instead they go for the aftershock so here I think is the winning play of the game for me I'm like mm, I could keep this Nami alive with um the spirit's journey or I could just um let drop a second Nami and I'm trying to figure out which one is more mana efficient and which one will give me a chance to win the game later on down the line but I send a I decide to spend the Spear's Journey because it'll give me an extra mana gem and that sets up a super baity play with the Trundle um at this point it kind of seems like my opponent checks out they just accept that they didn't kill the Nami and I'm thinking do I drop the Burble Fish here probably because I can protect it with Telstone if I need to or I get a sapling toss there. At this point, I think my opponent just starts roping me because I have an amazing swing on the open and they're two turns away from turn eight, which is the turn that timelines really pops out, pops off using the ice pillar. So I'm really kicking my feet up, chilling. And um, at this point, it looks like my opponent is just roping me out. I'm like, cool, not really mad at that. Uh, just see, see, you can see my anxious clicking because I'm at like 420 OP and I'm like, please just let me get a little bit more OP, try to climb a little higher right before the 7-2 seasonals cut off. They don't do anything. I'm like, sure, let's send the sapling. And uh, that's about as good as dragging. Because one option, I was like, if they attack with the trundle, I might just go hard the trundle for the last point of health with the, the five drop. That would do six damage, but it's not a show. And then I misplay here and I send this, not realizing that that's a better... Um, that's a better freeze target for my tentacle. I thought we would go wide, but I forgot how tentacles worked. And we just drag with the sapling. They let the rope expire, if I remember correctly, and I win the game. So yeah, let's throw shiny mode there, even though nothing happens. Our opponent does not respond. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know. My name is Max Got the Tracks. I'm probably streaming live right now. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, whatever, at Max Got the Tracks. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.